So I decided to take the trip down to Vandenberg with my trusty digital binoculars to watch in person the launch of SpaceX's latest mission. So this is the view I have. You can see that the binoculars have got great zoom, but it also gives you an idea as why uh, the footage gets a little bit shaky because you can see the kind of distance. These are just handheld. So um, these are my views. Um, occasionally you'll see it get really shaky during the launch. That's because I decided I wanted to see it with my own eyes. So I took the binoculars away and just looked at it. So um, you, you'll see uh, sort of pretty shaky moments, but here we go. See, uh, see what you think and enjoy. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower and is now headed upward on its mission to sun-synchronous low-Earth orbit. Coming up, the rocket will throttle down for Max-Q, which, re which represents the maximum aerodynamic stress on the rocket. We're now headed into a series of events that will occur in rapid succession. That's MECO, Stage Separation, and SES-1, or Second Engine Start-1. MECO is the shutdown of all nine first-stage engines in preparation for Stage Separation, or Stage 2, separates from stage one, and SES-1 is the ignition of the second stage engine. And back chill has begun. Following oh, no, SES-1, we will turn our attention back to the returning first stage, which will relight three of its engines in a boost back burn to head back towards the drone ship. And then finally, we'll see ferry fairing deployment at T plus two minutes and 43 seconds. As mentioned earlier in this webcast, we're attempt attempting to recover the payload fairing, and while we may not have a live video feed of this attempt, we'll share updates as they become available. So in about 20 seconds, you'll hear the call out from Miko. Let's listen in. And as you just saw, we had a successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, as well as ignition of that second stage engine. And there goes that fairing. And there you can see all 64 of those satellites on stage two headed to sun synchronous orbit. You will hear the call up for the boost back burn ending in a couple of seconds. That's where stage one's burn that brings it back in the direction of the drone ship. That burn will that burn will cease. Stage two trajectory nominal. And we are hearing that the stage two trajectory is nominal and performing as desired. You can see those beautiful grid fins popping up on the left side on stage one as it makes its way back down to the drone ship. So there's the visual confirmation of that re-entry burn. This will last for another 10 seconds. <laughs> we'll 
will be looking for deployment of the landing legs here momentarily. Oh, 